Hey, coming to you live. I am out at a beautiful park today in New Jersey, and it is really nice. It's a little hot in the car. I have the windows open, so, um, I mean, I have the most of the windows closed. Some are open so I can breathe, but I didn't want people to be walking by and hearing me do a live video. So today I'm talking about your past does not dictate your, um, I'm sorry, I'm talking about does your past dictate your future. So hi there if you don't know who I am. My name is Nicole Simonin. I am the personal trainer at Shape It Up and I am doing a live Facebook video every day in July. So I hope you will join me. You can go ahead and hit that like button on the Shape It Up page if you enjoy this video. You can also check out the other content before hitting that like button to make sure that you are enjoying the content. Um, so I have clients that come to me um, not only to lose weight but to get to the real reason they have had trouble keeping the weight off. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and head over to shapeitupfitness.com, C-A-L-L. -L. All right, so this morning I was working with a client of mine and um, they have a long history of being on diets, lots of diets. Um, hit the like button if you can relate. If you've been on more than one or two diets, hit that like button. So if you have failed on each attempt at dieting, do you think you can never lose weight? Answer that below. I'm curious to see what you have to say. So if someone can only earn, if someone earns $10,000 a year, can they only earn $10,000 for the rest of their life each year? Uh, you'd be surprised. Most people think about that, about your weight. Um, so, oh, I lost my train of thought. Hold on one second. <laughs> this is what I get for doing a video out in the park. There's too many distractions. Um, so if the person is deciding to step out of their comfort zone and instead of earning $10,000, they want to earn say $20,000, how do they go from only having $10,000 to $20,000 if they believe that they can't earn $20,000. It's the same thing with weight loss. If you have tried so many diets over and over and over again and you are just frustrated with it and you don't see the results that you want, it doesn't mean that you can't be successful later on in life with a diet or lose weight. I shouldn't say diet because you don't need to diet in order to lose weight. But I feel like a lot of people just assume that um, if they are, you know, a chronic dieter that they can never lose weight. That is not true. Um, so your past does not dictate your future. And the same goes for diets. So no matter how many diets you tried, don't let that discourage you. Um, so if you have done 10 or 20 plus diets, it was not a waste of time. This is another thing I hear a lot. So you've wasted all your time doing those diets. Um, you really didn't waste your time. You were in there figuring out what really doesn't work. Um, so you did get something out of it. It might not have been the result that you were looking for, but you learned something from it. So say you did a diet that had you at 500 calories a day. You know that that diet does not work for you. It's not sustainable. Um, they say diets do work and I agree with that to an extent, but the problem is, is you have to find the correct meal plan that's going to work for you. And I don't think it's in some structured diet. Um, when I work with my clients, I don't like them to food log. Um, sometimes I have them food log because I think it's very eye-opening to kind of get an awareness of where you're at. But um, my goal for my clients is to not have them food log. Do you want to food log for the rest of your life? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Um, I am food logging right now because I'm getting ready for this contest, but after that is done, I am going back to my normal eating habits. Um, so I just want you to know that I get it. it. It's frustrating if you've been on numerous amounts of diets and you haven't seen the results that you want, but I promise you the diet is the problem. It's not you. Um, there's a whole nother mental aspect to it and I would love to get into that into another video. But um, a lot of it has to do with limiting beliefs um, and the stories that you're telling yourself. And even though you have probably a huge amount of evidence to say that you didn't lose the weight, it's really, it's not true. It's like that person who wants to earn $20,000. If they've only earned $10,000, 
you know, a year, it doesn't mean they can't do it. It's just, you have to figure out, you know, what works for you and how you need to get around it. Um, so that is what I have for you today. Um, like I said, I will do another video on, um, like limiting beliefs. I think that's kind of hard for people to grasp unless you kind of have an understanding of the psychology behind it. Um, but just know that, like I said, if you've tried as many diets as you had, like I was talking to this client, um, and they've tried a lot of diets and I can see their frustration and it's hard. And sometimes you have to clear out what's in your head before the weight will come off. And I remember le reading a long time ago that, um, this is a long time ago, they have to love your body. <laughs> and as stupid as that sounds, you do have to have an appreciation for what your body is doing. Um, it's trying to protect you. Um, there's a lot, of, like I said, a lot of mental work that needs to go into it. Um, a lot of the stuff I dive in with my clients and I work with them on an individual basis and try to work through that stuff. Um, you have to be open to thinking new thoughts, but if you're interested in learning more about how to become a client, you can uh, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, -L, and request a free consult with me, and we can discuss um, what your goals are and what, you, what you're doing. Um, so I hope that was helpful to you. If you have a suggestion for videos, please put it in the comment section. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will be checking in with you tomorrow sometime. I don't know when. Sometimes these live videos, um, they're not really timed. They're just whenever I have a moment to myself. So have a wonderful day, and I will check you out tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye. If I can hit the finish button. <laughs>